Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and today I am very excited because I am finally bringing to you guys the series for which I began this YouTube channel. That is a continuation of my Get Good series from Reddit. This is number 27, 28, 29, 30, and we may end up having a 31st, but hopefully I can get it in just 30. But it's uh, what I'm calling practicum, so this would be practicum A. And it's a match between myself and Michael Pramawat, where I have Michael Pramawat and Joey Rudiger helping me um, make the right moves. So I'm going to be showing you a hand, a situation in the game, and you need to be thinking, what am I supposed to do here? And then you'll see if you're correct or incorrect and why, and then um, hopefully this will really help you all grow as players. I know it's helping me. So this first matchup is I'm playing Malamar versus Pram's Buzzswole. And this is, in case you're watching this later, this is the breakthrough through Forbidden Light meta. So I'm using the Malamar list from Limitless TCG. Um, I'm going, I was going to show you all, but I decided to link it instead so that you can have it pulled up. Um, this is the list that Fernando Castaneda Perez used to get top four in Mexico City at the regional. And that'll be linked below. So it's a Psychic Malamar list. And I'm just going to play it and you can see and you can decide what you think you should do. And then Pram is using his um, Buzzrock list. I, I want to say it's the one from that he used at Mexico City as well. So this is it. We'll hop right in. Okay, so here's our first scenario. I encourage you to have that deck list open while we are going through this, but here's the first scenario. It's the first turn opening hand. You have an option between Bridget, Guzma, uh, the Mysterious Treasure, and, and playing your Psychic Energy. Just think about what is the first thing you would do here? What is the first thing you do in this situation? Okay, so the first thing you do is you should play Bridget. Um, I think the other option that you might be tempted to do is Mysterious Treasure. I actually thought that would be what I would do first, but um, here's why you want to Bridget. I think you start with the Bridget. You definitely start Bridget here. Okay. Um, why do I start Bridget here? Uh, it's highly treasure. unlikely you're gonna prize multiple inkays, uh -huh. so you want like you want to get like two ink, at least two inkays down, and like a hoopa or a, or whatever. Okay, so I might save Mysterious <coughs> Treasure for next turn, is what you're saying. Yeah, because you might get a Malamar yeah. okay. with it. I agree. And, and even though you're going to play N, you still want the option to get, draw into that Mysterious Treasure. Okay, so the next question here is what Pokemon am I grabbing with this Bridget? So you can see I have a Clefairy. I have four Inkays. I have two Hoopas, two Leles, two Dawn Wings, and a Necrozma. So you can choose... Any three, up to three Pokemon, you don't have to choose all of them. So just think about what three Pokemon you're going to want. And I'm just letting you all see as I scroll through the deck. So you can, if you want to get an idea of what's prized, as that could definitely affect your decision. Okay, so I'm going to grab two Inke and a Hoopa because Hoopa is a really good one prize attacker in this matchup. And in case I want two in case down so I can start setting up Malamars. So yeah, I could get a Dawn Wings, but Dawn Wings is actually not good in this matchup because they can one shot it with Lycanroc or Buzzwell GX. I want as few two prizes as possible. So I'm getting two in case for setup and only one attacker, and I'll just keep getting attackers down one at a time throughout the game. So the next question is what do we do now? We have the option of Attaching a Psychic, playing an Elixir, or playing the Mysterious Treasure. Think about what you should do next. So we decide actually not to play the Mysterious Treasure this turn at all, so that next turn we can grab a Malamar with it. So it comes down to then, do I play Max Elixir first, or do I play the Psychic Energy first? And the answer is you play the Max Elixir first, even though there's not a world I don't think where you 
do anything else with it besides attach it to the hoopa. You always want to do anything that has an unknown result first. In this case, playing the max elixir would be the unknown result because you don't know if you're going to hit an energy or not. And then once that happens, then it informs your decision of where you place the psychic. In this case, it probably doesn't matter, but these are good habits that you want to build into your game. Make the decision, make decisions with as much information as possible. So that's why we play the max elixir first. Okay, so now that's it for the main part of the practicum. I have a couple plugs from the guys who so graciously agreed to help me out with this. And then I have a portion of our conversation that wasn't exactly relevant to what we're doing here, but I thought was very useful. So I went ahead and tacked that on to the end. It's about um, looking for prize cards, which is something I wrote about in the Get Good series. So check it out. Okay, so uh, you can check me out at darkpatch.com. I offer coaching there. Most reasonable price on the market. Uh, also, I um, am a sponsor our team, Card of Magica. You can use code JOEYR10. Um, it'll be in the description down below at checkout for 10% off all your purchases. Um, my Twitter handle uh, is Joe Rudiger. I'm pretty sure it's under my name. And then, um, and my Twitch is also Joe Rudiger. Cool. Bram, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, check out my sponsor, ARG. They're pretty cool. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Michael Parmalat. I tweet about like tournaments and some random stuff sometimes. Uh, let's see. Let's check out TC Evolutions. They're really cool. Uh, great dice. And that's pretty much it. Come say hi. Cool. Yeah. And for myself, um, on Twitter, I'm at C3Poke. Obviously, you know my YouTube. And uh, oh, and my Patreon is patreon.com slash SeagroveTCG. If you're interested in supporting me financially, thank you guys. Love you all. Ciao. So one, one tip that I, I think you can do when you're going through your prizes yeah. Is you don't need to figure out all your prizes. You just need to figure out the important stuff. So like the, the one two Malamars. Ultra, yeah, the two Malamars is important. The Ultra Ball is not important. Okay. Uh and things like that. Okay. Let me see if there's any one of other attackers that I'm missing here. There's some all... people who will figure out all the prizes um and take like an enormous amount of time on the first or one of them being Ross. Um, yeah. So like you'll just end up getting ties all over the place okay yeah i get if you try to do it like that i tend to i used to like just check my important stuff and now i don't check it all i it's you probably check your important stuff yeah so yeah i mean so like i understand the want to scale back but you should be scaling back from knowing all of them to like the important stuff instead of important yeah. stuff to none of it okay <laughs> the only time i don't check prizes is when i have like like under 10 minutes left yeah and I'm just trying to like win <laughs> really, really quickly. I had meant, I found myself having a lot of mental fatigue. That's why I decided not to do it anymore. Um, but I think you're right. I should just look for big things. Okay, so these three? 